In the last week of February, the world changed a lot, uh, or at least investors' uh, perceptions of the world changed significantly in the face of the spreading coronavirus. So let's take some time to look at the market's reaction. In the last week of February, the coronavirus um, changed in the sense that it, it showed up in places where it hadn't been before. Obviously, we knew about this since uh, early January when it was first acknowledged in China. But uh, as February came to a close, it started to show up in the United States, South Korea, Italy, places that are more familiar to Americans or Western investors. And I think that uh, began to erode people's confidence in the stock market, which up until that point was at all-time highs. What was the reaction by the markets? During the course of a couple of days, investors sold in a bit of a panic, uh, forcing stock markets into what we commonly call a correction. Stock prices down more than 10% over a relatively short period of time. And investors were just really trying to grab hold of what they could understand about what the future might look like. And when there's a, when there's a vacuum, when there's perceived risk, investors sell first and analyze later. How should investors think about decisions in the midst of uncertainty? In situations like this where it's not clear what the near-term future holds, um, investors are tempted often to focus on the worst-case scenario. I'd like to have us think about this as a range of possibilities. There's some good outcomes in terms of uh, maybe it's not as bad as what people fear. There's some bad outcomes that we've seen in certain other places around the world, or sort of a medium path. And I think investors are best served when they imagine a future where there's this range of possibilities rather than just focusing on the worst that may not happen. Is risk the same as uncertainty? In a situation like this where we're trying to figure out which way the markets will go, um, we have both volatility in front of us, markets going high one day and low the next day, but we also have this broader concept of risk. Risk is the possibility that you don't meet the objectives that you've set out for yourself uh, from investing. Um, you invest in a private business and it fails and you lose all of your money. That's risk. You um, perhaps save too conservatively or invest too conservatively over your lifetime and don't have enough money to fund your retirement. That's risk. Volatility is what we're experiencing now. Uh, we have um, a market that's trying to figure out how bad will this um, outbreak B. Um, and the, really the goal for investors should be not to turn this volatility into risk, not to sell uh, in a panic, because we don't know what the future will hold. Where does this all leave us? The situation is very fluid, so I'm not going to cite numbers because they keep changing by the day. But as I mentioned, we're in a correction type of period. Stocks are down 10% from their recent high. But remember, that recent high was an all-time high uh, after having gained something like over 400% cumulatively since the Great Recession 11 years ago. So we really have been lulled into thinking that investing is easy. Stocks just go up. But that's not the case, of course. Stocks don't always just go up. And here's one example of what we're experiencing. What are ways to think about and approach the market now? So my advice is we're facing a market that's very variable, and I think we're all uh, feeling some fear about where this is going to go and how it plays out here in the United States. The first thing to remember, as I mentioned a moment ago, is that stocks are volatile. They always have been. They always will be. Um, it never feels good in the moment, but this is normal for stock markets to react with uncertainty when it, they don't know what is coming. I'd also like to encourage you to stay with your investment plan. You worked on it with your advisor. You likely talked about how you would react in the face of volatility. Well, this is it. This is the volatility that we talked about. Remember also that your portfolio likely considers a range of investments and investment styles, not all of which perform as bad as the worst uh, stock that you might see in the headline. Uh, many people have bonds in their portfolios, and bonds have reacted positively in this situation because that's where people go when they're concerned about the stock market. The other thing I'd like to remind people to do is to um, not to turn their volatility into risk. That is, not to, not to react in the face of this volatility by selling um, and locking in losses. My last piece of advice is to spend a little bit less time watching the news and a little bit more time uh, reading respected health um, sites like 
the Centers for Disease Control, the World Health Organization, and your local health department, who are going to have regular updates on how this might be affecting you. Those are the things that um, I think are most important as we all face this together. And then lastly, when it comes to markets, uh, markets have reacted to various health scares over the years. We kind of forget them because they, they are passing eventually. They're frightening while they happen, um, but health scares in the recent past like MERS and SARS and Zika have uh, made their impact, they've taken their toll, but ultimately markets have recovered. <laughs>